Hi, I'm Hugh Perkins, and I want to talk about, uh, I want to carry on doing the uh, forward model as an introduction to PyTorch. So, in the previous video, uh, we created our model, um, we added modules to it, like for two hidden layers, and we forwarded stuff through it. So, then what we want to do is we want to add a loss layer to this, print out the loss. Um, and then we want to start, add an optimizer, and then we want to start training so that the loss goes down. Now, obviously, since we're using random numbers, uh, if we used like some sort of holdout test table, that wouldn't fit. It's just random numbers. But we can overfit on the training data, show that the loss goes down, and show that we can overfit on that training data. Uh, so let's, um, let's do that. All right, so we've got our input and we've got our model, we've got some output. So if we want to calculate loss, we're going to need to add a loss function and we're going to need some target data. So let's create the target data first. Uh, so for our target data, uh, so we're going to make, so it's autograd.variable uh, and then let's just use torch to run. So there should be probably something to generate integers, but I can't remember what it is. Uh, so I'm just going to generate random numbers and then convert those into, into integers, all right? So uh, batch size integers, uh, and uh, let's multiply that by like non-classes, and then uh, make that into uh, a long. Uh, so it, it should be long because it should be like uh, it's expecting a long tensor, uh, and just placate uh, flick eight there. Uh, all right, so that's going to be our target. Let's, so let's print the target. Uh, let's just do that to escape. Uh, whoops. So, if I do uh, net.py, uh, all right, so this is the target. Uh, let's actually make it like four classes so that it's a bit kind of more interesting. All right, so we got two, one, zero, one, one. So uh, it's only come up with three. But anyway, it could choose from four. Or, um, yeah. Uh, oh. Okay, and let's just like rotate this uh, so that it fits on one line. So I'm just going to view one one. So this is going to make it all, all in one line. Uh, yeah, here, right? So two one zero one one. Uh, cool. Actually, let's make it like one single line. So I'm going to make it into a string and then split that. I don't know if this is the best way of doing it, but uh, all right. So here we've got our target. That's what we want to get. And um, all right, and let's get the current output, right? So current output. So the current output is um, just the output from this layer, linear layer. Uh, we should probably softmax it. So let's softmax it. So let's do f dot softmax x. Uh, all right, so here it is a softmax. So softmax means that probably if we added all of these up, they should sum to one, which looks like approximately correct, right? Because so it's probably distribution. And then let's take the prediction. So to take the prediction, uh, we're going to take the max uh, over the axis one, uh, which is the it's going to take the max over the, over each row. Uh, we don't actually need the max. What we want is the arg max. So the arg max is like the max returns two. Um, results. The first one is the actual maximum value, and then the second one is the the index of that maximum value. So the index of that value, maximum value, right? This is one heart, right? So we don't care which one is the largest. Like let's say this one, in this case, this is the largest, right? Uh, so we don't care that the largest is 0 0.2688, which is the maximum value. We care that it's uh, like index zero, or like some of these others might have another. So this is index three, right? Uh, so the, the index is the, is the prediction. So that's what we want here. Uh, all right, so let's just print that, and let's just print that in the same way that we printed the target. Uh, okay, so we're going to print prediction like that. Uh, okay, so here's the prediction, here's, and here's the target. Let's get rid of some of the extra prints so it's a bit tighter. I guess we can print the target down here. All right, so this is this is what we want to get, and this is what we're currently getting. So we need to train the network 
so that it overfits onto this and gives us this. I mean, obviously in practice we wouldn't try to overfit, but for this example we're trying to overfit. Uh, all right, so we've got the prediction, the output. We need to calculate the loss. Uh, so for the loss, we're going to use the NLLL loss. So the loss is, um, I think there's one in F.NLL loss. And what we need to feed it is the output values, like before doing the max. We feed it the output values and we feed it the target. And that should give us a loss and we can just print that out. Okay, so here's our loss. And um, let's just do like like that so that we just get one value on this on the line uh, no, uh, uh, maybe uh, like dot data zero something like that there we go so here's our loss and let's just make it a bit easy well yeah that's fine all right so we've got the target the prediction and the loss so what we want to do is to make the loss go down so that the prediction matches the target all right so to do that what we need is an optimizer so uh, we're going to use, so the optimizers are all in opt-in package and uh, for example we can use Adam uh, and what we need to feed it is parameters and the learning rate. All right, so but first let's import Adam and then let's look at how we get the parameters and we'll give it a learning rate. So basically uh, we simply from Torch import, we've already got AutoGuide NN and we're simply going to add opt-in. All right, so here's the Adam optimizer. Uh, right, we need to feed it the parameters. So the parameters is the weight that it's going to update in order to optimize the loss. All right. So how do we get that? Very simply, we simply do model dot parameters. So the model is this object, which is the object of the model. The model contains the linear layers, which have learnable parameters. And the cool thing about these modules that the, the cool thing about creating a class that drives some module is that all of these modules that we assign to self, uh, the parameters are straight away available by calling dot parameters on, the, on, our, on our model class. So we simply do model dot parameters, pass that into Adam. Uh, we need to give it a learning rate, so it will just be like, I don't know, like a, a one thousandth, so 0 0.001, for example, which is commonly, and, and uh, Adam is quite insensitive to, to the learning rate. All right, so we've got our optimizer. We've got the output, uh, prediction, loss. Right, what do we need to do next? So what we need to do next is we need to back propagate the loss to calculate the gradients. Um, and then Adam is going to use those gradients to take a little tiny step towards, towards making the loss a bit lower. All right, so how do we do the back propagation? So we've already done the forward propagation. Uh, so we calculated the output, we fed that to the loss, and then we simply do the loss swap backward. Uh, but before we do that, we should zero the gradient. So how do we do that? So again, just like parameters, it's really easy because the module kind of handles that for us. So we just do models or zero grad. That's all we have to do. And that's going to automatically zero the gradient inside both of these linear layers. All right, so models at zero grad, uh, calculate the gradient, so loss start backward, that's all we have to do. Right, we've done the forward, we've done the forward, we've calculated the loss, which meant that we've introduced the target, and then we simply do loss stop backward, that's it. That's calculated the gradients, and then using the gradients, Adam is then going to take a little tiny step. Uh, so, yeah, so let's put this into a kind of loop. So, for a loop, um, so the, the model, the input, the target won't change each time. Uh, but the output, the prediction, loss, all of these things are going to change. So we're going to loop here. So let's do, let's say, I don't know, for epoch in uh, range, let's just do three for now. And uh, so each time we're going to print the target, the prediction, the loss. All right. And hopefully the loss should be going down a little bit. Uh, okay. So it's not going down very much or at all. Uh, is that normal? Um, is that normal? We've zeroed the gradient. Oh, right. One thing we have to do. So actually, this is just instantiating the optimizer, right? So what we have to do is we actually have to take a little tiny step. So we have to do optimizer.step. All right.
Okay, so we just create the optimizer once and then we call optimizer.step. When we create it, we pass in the parameters on the learning rate, and then after calculating the gradients here, we simply call optimizer.step. And it's going to, it's going to um, do the training on whatever parameters we passed in here uh, based on the gradients which are on these parameters, and the gradients get to these parameters by calling the backward here. All right. Uh, all right, so now we can see that it's stepping and the loss is decreasing. This is negative, right? So this is numerically kind of the numbers are getting bigger, but because it's negative, that means the loss is more negative. Uh, so we won't see any difference in the, in the prediction yet uh, unless we do a whole bunch of these. Uh, so let's do, like, I don't know, like range um, 1,000, so let's say. All right, so it's kind of uh, getting close. Uh, so I, this is kind of a simple network and it doesn't learn terribly uh, well and we're feeding it random data. So I played with it just now and I found that in order to get it to um, uh, le learn, I basically had to like subtract 0 0.5 from the input and that kind of helped it to learn. So let's try that. Uh, yeah, and uh, let's increase the input size a bit. So we're going to feed it four features. All right, so there we go. So uh, it's successfully uh, managing to overtrain on the training set. So now the prediction matches the loss, and the loss has gone down by to like 0 0.86. So that's here really. So this is like the kind of simplest network you could probably possibly create. Probably, uh, we just got like a couple of linear layers, a Tanha softmax. Uh, we create an optimizer. Um, we pass the model parameters to the optimizer along with a learning rate. Uh, we calculate the loss by doing zero grad, calling backward on the loss. Uh, so the loss is an auto grad variable just like everything else. Uh, and then we do a little tiny step with the optimizer. So that's it. So now you know how to uh, train a high network. So thank you very much.